Box or column selection in VS Code's integrated terminal lets you select rectangular areas of text instead of VS Code's normal line-based selection. Let's take a look at this in action. So I'm going to run the ps command here to get some running programs. And we can see that the output here is formatted in columns. Now, if I just wanted to copy the process IDs, if I tried doing a normal selection here, you can see that it's, it's going to select the entire line. And I'd have to go in and then go and clean this up. Instead, we can use box or column selection for this. So for this, I'm going to hold down Option or Alt, which is going to enter into box or column selection mode. And now I can just start clicking and dragging. Notice how my selection is now a rectangle. And this rectangle is going to be my current selection instead of doing the full line selection like we were doing before. So I can just go in here, find the process IDs that I want, hit Copy, and I'll go up into an editor. And when I paste it, you'll see that I've just copied that area of text. So I didn't copy anything else on any of these lines. This saves me the extra steps of having to go and clean up the text that I copied later on. Again, just reviewing how to do this, you're just going to hold down Option or Alt while you're clicking and dragging, and you can create a box or column selection in the terminal. So again, I can go into select the time column here, for instance, just press copy on that, go up into my editor, and when I paste, we get the nice column of data instead of the lines of data, like if we had done a normal selection. So that's a look at box or column selection in VS Code's integrated terminal.